Hey what's up this is Riyadh from Oxcoding. In this video we'll create an adapter for the movie page list. So in popular movie new Kotlin class popular movie page list adapter. It extends page list adapter of type movie and recycler view dot view holder. Let's import these and implement the members now here in page list adapter we need this diff util item callback with type movie so let's create this class so class movie diff callback and it extends diff util dot item callback with type movie let's implement the members okay here in our items the same we return old item dot id equal equal new item dot id and here in our contains the same we return all item equal equal new item now in here we initialize movie diff callback let's remove these our recycler view has two types of views one is to show the movie list item and the other is to show the network state item so we need to create these two view holder classes. So class movie item view holder with constructor view and it extends recycler view view holder. And here function bind with parameter movie and context. This question mark means this movie variable can accept null values. Now we say text view title to this movie.title takes you release date to movie.release date and this question mark is null save calls so even if the movie is null our app won't throw a null pointer exception and here we show the movie poster into our image view with glide now we need to set on click listener on this item view so we can go to single movie activity where we show the details about the selected movie. So item view dot set on click listener and we pass the movie ID input extra and start the activity. And now class network state item view holder function bind with parameter network state. If network state is not null and network state is loading, we show the progress bar else the progress bar is gone and if network state is error we show the message else if the network state is end of list we show the message else the visibility is gone now let's declare some variable movie view type equal 1 network view type equal 2 we have two types of view one to show movie and one to show the network state these two variables will help us decide what types of view to show in the recycler view. And here we have a network state variable which is null. Now on create view holder we have layout inflator and a view variable. If view type equal equal movie view type we inflate the view of movie list item and return movie item view holder with the view. Else we inflate network state item and return network state item view holder with the view and here we add the constructor with parameter context now on bind view holder if get item view type with position equal equal movie view type we call movie item view holder dot bind and pass get item with position which is movie and context else we call network state item view holder dot bind with network state now function has extra row to see if we have any extra row and here we return network state is not null and network state is not loaded that means network state is loading or network state is error now overwrite function get item count this function returns the total items in the list and here we return super dot get item count plus if we have any extra row we increment it by one else zero so if we have an extra row this will help us add an extra item which is the progress bar at the end 
Now override function get item view type return if has extra row is true and position equal equal item count minus one which is the last position. This item count and function get item count is the same. If we have 20 items the last position of the item will be 19 but the item count will be 20. So here we need to minus one for the last position. As has extra row is true we are increasing the item count by one. So we have 21 items including the progress bar but the position of the last item is 20. So if has extra row is true and the position is the last position we return network view type else we return movie view type. Now we need a function to set this network state variable. So function set network state and the parameter is new network state. Variable previous state equal this dot network state. So the current value of network state is in this previous state variable. Variable had extra row equal has extra row. Because this has extra row function depends on the current value of network state. Now this dot network state to new network state which we are passing in this set network state function. And in variable has extra row we again call has extra row function because we change the network state with new network state. If had extra row is not equal has extra row and if had extra row is true which means has extra row is false and we don't have any new movies to add. So we notify item removed which is the progress bar at the end. Here we are calling super dot get item count not the overridden get item count. Else which means has extra row is true we notify item inserted which is the progress bar at the end. Else if has extra row is true and previous state is not equal new network state. That means we have an error. And here we notify item changed with the last position which is item count minus 1. Alright that's all for this video. See you guys in the next one.